What's up, guys? Welcome to part four of my Seven Days to Die series. We're here at the farm. It's day 28. We are expecting the fourth zombie horde uh, tonight. But uh, there's, a, there's a spot I want to go check out. I found it on the map. It's, it's written down as a bomb shelter. I've never been there before. It's kind of a far ride, but I know on the mini bike I can get there, check it all out, and get back to the farm before nightfall to deal with the horde. So I want to make my way over there, check it all out, see if it's uh, possibly a good location to start a second base there, or possibly just use it as a place to hold down uh, on every seventh day when, when the horde shows up. I mean, the farm is working well, but... I don't know, I just want something new, something different. So so here it is. It's kind of not what I expected at first. It's just this little house with a uh, with a fence, you know, pretty large backyard. So just kind of surveying the area right now, checking out how many uh, zombies are around here and what else is around here. There's a cellular tower uh, right there that I just drove past. I've been in those before. There's not too much uh, in there. It'd be, it'd be worth exploring, but right now I'm here for this bomb shelter. So I've made my way into the backyard to check things out. I know that there's got to be um, access to some sort of underground bunker here. And now there, boom, I see these plates on the ground. I know that probably underneath one of these is some sort of access to this underground bunker, but got a lot of zombies trying to get at me. So I'm not going to rush to get in there uh, just yet, even though I am on a time crunch. You know, I got to get this place explored and get back to the farm before a nightfall. So I'm going to drop this wood frame in the back here so I can jump over the fence. And as I do, I spot this plate all by itself, surrounded by concrete. That's got to be access to the bunker. So uh, with that in mind, I'm going to get myself back into the uh, backyard, uh, deal with a couple of zombies that have made their way uh, in here and uh, try and get to that plate so I can see what we're dealing with. Uh, first thing I want to do though is uh, get into this little house and bust open this back door just so I have another point of entry or exit uh, if I need to because I have dealt with a lot of these zombies but there still are some crawlers and shit around here and stragglers so uh, I want to get this plate busted open so I can see what the hell we got going on and uh, bingo there's something down there. Uh, we've got some iron bars that we got to deal with and it goes down. I can't really see that much. It just looks like air ducts. So at this point, um, it's it's certainly proof that there is something underneath here. So I'm going to head into the house and bust open one of these plates and uh, hopefully find some easier access to this bunker. Boom, which we do. Some stairs. So get down here. Big giant iron door. This is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. This is uh, 5,000 hit points you got to deal with. 2,500 and then another 2500 but once you get through there you're in here it is the bomb shelter there's a few uh rooms off the side there which we'll explore later i uh, just want to give you an idea of what this is down here uh, what i don't show you in this video is above me is the air duct which leads up to the backyard to that first plate we busted open so um I have an idea of what we can do to hold down that place for the zombie horde, and we're going to do it. That's going to be the next video, is holding down the bunker during the zombie horde. Uh, right now, I'm headed back to the farm, and we're going to have to deal with this horde back at the farm as always. Now, check this out. This is the lazy man hunting. <laughs> man, so you can just run over deer with your mini bike and one hit it kills them so uh, deer or pig i'm gonna use my axe here to cut them up unfortunately i don't have my hunting knife or my bone shiv on me you really should use a blade weapon to uh, skin the animal you get more resources that way but like i said i don't i don't have anything on me right now i just wanted to do that for the sake of this video and show you that uh if you don't feel like chasing down deer with a bow and arrow you can just run them right over with your mini bike uh pigs too zombies as well i've never i haven't tried a bear yet i'd probably advise against that i can't imagine you'd be able to kill a bear with one hit like that um now, I think it does do a little bit of damage to your mini bike. Nothing noticeable right away, but if all you do is run over deer with your bike, I'm sure you're going to notice some damage to it um, a lot quicker than if you didn't run over deer with your bike. So, anyway, here we are. I've unloaded everything into my basement. We're ready to go. I've upgraded this a bit. I've got two rows now of these spiked logs. They've been upgraded three times with iron, so uh, they should be good to go. I don't expect any of them will get destroyed. I've... Uh, rebuilt all these spikes uh, added some more as well and uh, here they come so um, a lot of this fight too is just going to be me running back and forth between uh, this little watchtower that I built and the barn and the shed that is adjacent to the farm because that's where all my spikes are you know I just run from there 
Uh, I don't want the zombies to, because I don't want the so zombies to, to pile up in one location and just destroy, keep destroying a bunch of shit. So I figure, you know, if you run them back and forth, the, the spikes will do a lot of the work for you as well. You don't have to waste so much ammo. But but that's pretty much it. I mean, you guys, if you've, if you've watched the first three parts of this series, they've all taken place uh, at here in this at this location at the farm. That's where I've been holding down the, the horde. And like I said, it, it does a good job. Um, it's pretty simple. I mean, I, I think the only the only damage I take during this whole fight is when the the bee shows up, those flying bugs. But they don't do much damage, and they're easy to kill. Now, I really do like this little area here, because um, you can just shoot right through the iron bars. And the, man, the iron bars are tough. So I don't see the zombies getting through them. So that's my idea for the bunker. Um, when you go down the steps into that bunker where we destroyed the big iron door, basically I'm going to load up that area with spiked logs and then drop iron bars in the doorway. And, uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that the zombie horde will come down the stairs into that room where I can just deal with them, just blast them right through the iron bars. Pretty much what I'm doing right now, except I would be inside the bunker and if I need to get out I can get out through the kitchen I'm gonna build a ladder leading up the ducts and out into the backyard so um, that's gonna be my next video so that's how we'll deal with the horde on day 35 um, I'm just gonna gather a bunch of resources I'm probably gonna fix up and uh, upgrade the farm a little bit more just so uh, th so here here's the, the stupid bee that shows up and uh, just two two hits with the with the bat and he's and he's dead. Again, I don't have a blade weapon on me. I try, I, I try using my axe, but your axe doesn't get anything out of them. But if you have a blade weapon on the one of those big bees, you will actually get some honey uh, from it if, if you do that. But anyway, like I said, um, my, my, my next video will take place on day 35. The morning of day 35, we will head over to the bunker. Uh, we'll get it all ready for the horde. And check this out, a bear shows up. Uh, so I'm going to let him do some work for me. He's just attacking the zombies. And then he goes to walk away. So I'm trying to shoot him to get him to come back and you know, piss him off a little bit. But uh, I even take a shot. I think I pull my pistol out here. And uh, yeah, I take a shot at him with the pistol. But he doesn't want uh, any part of this anymore. So I'm just going to let him go and finish dealing with the zombies on my own. But... Anyway, like I said, yeah, stick around for the next video. It's going to be interesting. We're going to see what the bunker does. If it works well, then uh, I'll probably keep my base here. Well, of course, I'm going to keep my base here at the farm, and this is probably where I'll spend most of my time or possibly set up a second base farther south so I have one uh, so I can do a lot of exploring down south and then maybe use the bunker as, like, the middle ground or the, or the place that I'll go every seventh day and just deal with the horde there if it works well. So... Uh, we'll see. We're going to find out on the next video, which I should have up um, either later this week or, or early next week. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to let the rest of this video ride out. There's not much left here. Uh, I just jumped down. I didn't realize there was a cop zombie. Man, they, these guys take a lot. Man, Look at my fucking how many times do I got to shoot this guy with a shotgun up close. And he's just not dying. So I'm going to make a run for my ladder up here. Uh, get up here. And when I do... Uh, I notice he's just frozen, chilling, and then, boom, finally explodes. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. Hit that subscribe button if you were excited for the PlayStation VR, which comes out in, like, two weeks. It's insane. I'm going to have a ton of gameplay for you guys on that. And uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. It's at PSVRGamer. I follow all gamers back. Again, thanks so much for sticking around. Really appreciate it, guys, and I will catch you all in the next video.